Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Timberborn. Now, first of all, once again, massive thank you for all the support you guys have been leaving on the videos in the forms of likes, subscriptions, comments. Uh, it's It's been really, really lovely. Now, to start this video off, I just wanted to answer a couple of questions or uh, or comments that I uh, noticed on the on a few few previous videos. Now, one of them um, or a couple did mention that hey, baby dragon, you should uh, you know pick up the pace a little bit. Some sometimes the videos are uh, or sections sections of a video are a little bit slow, and um, it's a it's a very fair comment. And I guess this is where I'm still trying to find the good balance between how much of the building and the thinking process to show. Uh, versus you know just cutting everything out and only showing results so i'm still trying to find the find the balance between that because we, i've had comments from from both uh, sides let's say uh some people do want to see more and and every every single thought that goes through my head when i'm uh, designing and and building this colony over here whereas i, I know a lot of uh, a lot of the viewers are also used to very action action based uh, sort of format uh, as well so i i do value both uh, both comments um but just give me some time to figure out what's the right right balance between the two then uh, one more comment we had was hey you've you've got those awesome houses here but why are they bossed why they not? Can you just unpause them, please? And the reason why I have not done this is because I've been trying to follow some posts on Reddit as much as I can as well. I'd say the vast majority have mentioned that once you get past, I don't know, 500, 600, 700 or, or more, depending on, of course, on your computer specs, but the game starts to lag quite a bit. And my computer is definitely not the beefiest. So I'm just trying to avoid lag, really. And um, I think, yeah, we we're, we probably do not want to create that crazy colony whilst we're still building things. Maybe towards the end of the series, we'll open it all up and see how many beavers we can get. But for the time being, just for the sake of frames, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to keep the population as as uh, low as I can, really. The I think it's an, uh, time to announce the the new colonist in our beaver town. And I've uh, looked at episode, it was 15, and the comment with the highest likes was Kendall. Kendall, thank you very much for leaving that lovely comment, and there was over a hundred people that um, agreed with you as well. So that is, that is absolutely crazy. So Kendall, we're gonna uh, give you a beaver just over here. Let's just try and... Type it down real quick. Kendall. Alright, and you are going to be a builder in... Well, one of the pioneers, I I, I guess. Just over, over over here in District 4. Although it's named 5 now. Because we did, deleted the last one. So, welcome to the colony and congratulations, buddy. Uh, then, I think the meat of our uh, this episode is that I've uh, finally seen the, the comments from episode 18. And uh, it seems there's quite a split between uh, should we go all out and flood the whole whole map over here, or let me just try and go to District uh, Three here, or should we just uh, use some dynamites, start it out carefully, nice and slow, and carve out a little little um, like a channel here? So what I'm thinking, just to uh, why is there no water here? Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Just a second. Let me let, let's have a look. What's what's happening with the water? Have we done something? There is water in here. Oh, of course it hasn't gone in. Right. Okay, we need a higher level. Let's see. Can we raise? Is is anything closed? One of those gates. Now the water's still flowing through. 1.5 uh, close one of them okay let's see if it fills up I think it's just very slow uh, due to the um, how narrow this this channel is here but that's okay uh, so coming back to the idea of creating this new river system here 
I think what we'll do is we can, yes, start it the slow way. Uh, just be need to be mindful how um, that we don't train this lake here again. So I think we can set it to 1.5 for the time being and wait for it just to fill up. But then afterwards, I still do like this idea. However, I I agree. And some of your comments are very valid. It would be a shame to just levy this whole area up. So what I'm thinking instead is, is going the sort of like I'm finding a middle ground essentially. So instead of going all out and crazy, let me just hide the UI real quick. How about we use the terrain to our advantage over here? So instead of building up crazy levees, I mean, it might still happen in uh, some strategic locations here. I was just thinking maybe we'll use the landscape to our advantage and carve a river system through here because this is still... If we manage to raise the water to the height of roughly those levees here, I think we're still able to raise... Let me just check. I need to bring up the UI one more time. And that should be... Yeah, triple. So that should be four. I think up here, too high. Okay, so it's the same height as, as the cliffs over here. Which means about the same height as this platform. So that's about the height we can bring the water. I mean, yes, we can always use some dynamites here. Uh, let me just uh, pause it. I don't want them to build it, but... Um, let's see how high is this. So that is a stack of six. Okay. Plus if the water is about this high... So eight, actually, because we're going to use dynamite here as well. So that means on the other side, we need to find six or eight as well. So this is, I know it's really a weird way to measure things, but um, I guess that's the only way right now. Uh, so six or eight, this is four. And that means we still need to dynamite to how high is that? Another two. So that's eight. So we could... Yeah, we could. Then this height here brings it down again. Well, that could work, actually. This means we don't have to flood the whole map. We'll just have to relocate the, the bumps over here, which I don't think would be... A huge problem. And same around here. All we gotta do is just carve our way through. Do you know what? Let's give this a try. We'll just have to put another stack of levees on the on the side of the map. Where are they? The levees are here. And what can we do? How what's the best way to do it here? Okay, first, gotta remove those roads. Alright. And this road here too. Few levees. Ah, okay. We still need... Need it like so. And I think next to it, we are gonna need a platform. It's gonna take a lot of resources, I know. But I'm just curious to see... How this can go. And let's pull this road across. Like so. Okay, I think these roads are still in the way. Oh, it wasn't. So all we need. Yeah, I guess it's fine. It's alright. Let's do it this way. Now I need to delete those markers. Actually, no, we're gonna just pause them so that way they don't get built. Just for our reference for later. These I don't think we need because I want to actually bring those beavers down here to build 
the um, the levees in here. So the best way to do this, let's bring it directly down, I suppose. One, two, three, and a four. Connect it up with the road. And let's... Yeah, they should be able to reach. It's not even in the, in the red just yet, so that should be good. Now, to figure out... Uh, wait one second. Let's come back to this in a little bit. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's do this first, then we'll go to the other side. Now in here, I know I mentioned that we may have to fix this, but there was a very good comment about not having to do this. And they are absolutely right, because all we need is just more dynamites. So let's uh, let's put a few down here. I think we'll have a narrow channel. It's gonna go through maybe something like like this should be good. Three here as well. Let's go for the overview. Okay, something like that. And the beavers are already busy building those dynamites as well. So that's good. We'll have it bend around. Oh, that means we're going to have to get rid of those trees. That is okay. Not a problem at all. Let's just put a lumberjack building here with a higher priority. So we can leave our beavers constructing all this stuff there. And I think, uh, yeah, yeah, we've got enough builders in that district. Now, the next step. Uh, I'm just thinking right now, should we carry on working backwards? What I mean is to fix up this area first. <clears throat> and then um, we'll slowly start going that way. So by doing it. What I just, how I just described it, we are fully prepared for any any kind of floods. You are the same height. No, we still need a layer of levees on top of this area. I think what we what we could also do is move this middle levee stack a little bit further. Now let's check how far can those beavers go. Oh, okay. Should not be a problem, although they can't get down here. They can. Okay, let's let's give this a try. What I'm thinking is putting levees like so. And somehow we'll do the same on this side. Now this means we can get rid of the wall in here, but also the water pump. Don't think it's going to be necessary. We'll bring the road closer to the levees. And let's just take a look. How far... Yes, those beers can, can actually get to the wall. So that's that's good. Now, someone has nothing to do in range. Uh, you're right, because I haven't marked them for... Um, cutting. Okay. That should be fine. You should be able to work now. Alright, back to back to district two. That should be all the same height. That's good, that's good. This will be a problem, but what I think we'll do is we'll set up some platforms here with water pumps. Oh, uh, we have to raise it by one more level. Gotcha. Okay. No problem. And it's going to go from roughly here. Yeah, that should be fine. I think, yeah, it's going to mean we need to create a bit more space. And you know what? Let's, let's just put these levees in there as well. There we go. Okay, I don't think anyone needs to come down here. 
So we'll also take out this staircase system and replace it with a few more levees. That corner is done now. This is fine, we can build them very quickly. Now this corner... Do you know what? No, this is not how we're gonna do it. We're gonna waste more. Uh, waste more logs. However... It's gonna lo look a little bit more natural, I suppose. I just want to double check how far can those beavers walk once again. They can walk all the way here, but that's the last bit. Okay, I think we may... We may need an additional supporting district, especially when it comes to using dynamites around this area here too. So in here, maybe we don't... Actually, we're not going to use dynamites in here. This is the area where we will guide the water through. And this is where we will use dynamites. And then we also have to block this area as well. Although I do want to leave. Not leave, but put a few floodgates in place. Uh, just, just in case. But that's already higher. So that means... Yeah, that is going to mean that... Um, we need those floodgates about this height over here. And maybe two more in case we need to lower the water level pretty rapidly and i think with levees we can we can already stack them up here that that that's all right okay so i don't want to build multiple supporting districts here so i think the one that we want to do let's just check the distance the viewers can walk uh somewhere here it will not be able to build up But I think we can maybe figure something out. Can this be a slightly higher priority? Okay. And yeah, okay. So it seems the construction has begun. We've got a few levees in place or already. Um, how about, how are we doing here? Yep, there's building the second layer. They can't quite, quite reach the last bit here. Which means we might need another supporting district. Yeah. Wait. Let's try something. If we remove this road. We'll connect you over there. And I'm just going to pull those roads out a little bit. How far can you guys go? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, not too far is the answer. We might be a little bit more lucky if we had a road that went through directly and then straight over. Then they could come a little further, but it's still not going to help us with... I, I, yeah, I don't think it's going to help us with all the, all the dynamites we need in here. So that's another supporting district we'll need. Speed up the timer just a little bit as well. And let's check on the progress on the dynamites. Oh, quick autosave it seems. Right, so they... Are they able to reach them? I feel they are not. I oh, know they are. Still building them. But yeah, we'll just give them a temporary road. And it seems the water, ha water level has rised once again. And while you look at that, we've got some smaller trees growing through the inside the water. Some pine trees too, and even even in the bottom level. Okay, so that's gonna hopefully look a lot nicer. Down here, quite busy with creating this massive pine forest. Yeah, maybe we should make it a bit more natural. I think there was a few comments that it's uh, just those straight lines aren't always the nicest and I, I do agree. So in that case, we will... Leave all this in place on the side. A few more berries actually in the forest as well. Why not? Okay. 
yeah, we'll unpause and let them start planting uh, all the trees and berries again. Uh, why? Oh, you're already leaking. Let's not release the water just yet. We got a couple more dynamites. And I'm pretty sure this is gonna kill some of my frames. I mean, uh, it's not that many dynamites, but... Let, well, let, let's see what happens. We've got one... You know what? Let's give you a high priority. I don't think... Well, let's see. I'm, I'm not sure if they can reach it. Otherwise, they would be building them already. Okay, now they should be able to reach because we got this extra road in place. And I think I see a few few beavers walking down and bringing um, them over. Couple trees left as well. Okay, one, one more dynamite and then... Alright. Everybody, watch out. Here it goes. Wait, let's do it this way. We'll pause. Detonate. Close the UI. Wow. It sounds like a whole bunch of firecrackers when they're, when they're li lined up like this. But okay. Um, yeah, thank you very much for that suggestion to, to uh, not destroy this platform over here and to... Uh, use dynamites instead and carve a little canal in here. I do, do like this idea and I think it's much better than what I initially wanted to do. Cool. Now, the next step really is let's bring back the UI and we'll start doing the same. We need a few dynamites. I think like, uh, like so. We just got a tree here that we need to remove. Same in here. And then once those trees are gone as well, then we can finish this off a little bit. And since uh, this is higher, I think we'll have to drop a level somewhere here as well. Because we don't want, want it to spread in this direction, at least just yet. And seems they have also completed the mighty staircase here. Which... If we have enough logs... Oh yeah, we have plenty of logs. So they should start building this next. They are able to reach, right? Uh, mm, well, most of it. Uh, actually, I built this wrong. I should have had platforms go straight to it. So they could climb on top of... Uh... Would have been smarter, wouldn't it? You know what? We can... We can still do it. Something like... Something like that. And to connect them up... Let's just... Fix it... Here... So it looks all the same. I know it might be silly, but it's important to me that it... Uh, looks fairly... Fairly same. Oh, wait. So they will... I guess walk down from here then. Or... Wait a second. I don't think they have to walk down at all anymore. Because they will just slowly start um, constructing this um, platform bridge over here. And then same with the levees. It's going to take a little bit longer. Yeah... You know what? We're still gonna do it. I almost talked myself out of it, but... I've changed my mind. Once again. And then we'll bring a... Oh, not there, but here. Cool. Okay, so that is done. Got a few more dynamites being placed, and... Uh, hopefully these trees are being removed as well. Bit of water still sitting here. Palms are looking nicer. Maybe we can even put a little bit more water. And that area is starting to look a lot nicer already. Okay, we'll stump it for, uh, for just a little bit. Okay, yeah. Slow down. Okay. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. 
Right, so quickly check. We've got a few more levees in place. That is good. Anyone building platforms? No, they don't want to build them just yet. That's because we don't have planks. That is correct. Uh, do we have any planks? We have loads of planks. So how about you start sending some more planks over? Where are the planks? Planks are here. And the levees are coming together quite nicely in here as well. Oh, I just realized you might want to build those levees first. Because we need access to this drop-off point here. And then we just gotta get a few more levees there. That's uh, not going anywhere. That's okay, I understand. Probably... Actually, I don't know where those builders are. Uh, but it's alright. Got a bit of a starting point here. Then with uh, additional two support districts, we'll, we'll be able to figure out our way through here as well. And then uh, we'll do something similar. Oh, they're already building those levees. Yeah, so once they've got them in place, what I'm thinking here is because I've, I've had quite a few requests actually as well to build a better hydro uh, electric dam. So we, we could build levees along here with a few um, release valves or the or the floodgates in case we want to uh, let the water go through the back of the back of the map here and then all in the front as well and then build a long strip of uh, water wheels but I think first we're gonna figure out this channel over here going both ways and then that's when we'll get into a slightly bigger hydroelectric uh, dam here. And that's going to be quite a quite a big one. It's about the same length, if not longer, than our... Yeah, it looks roughly the same. Wait, is what, what is going on here? Ooh. Okay, we've got a bit of a flooding incident in here, but that's okay. We're, we'll, we'll have to fix this up in the in the next episode. In the meanwhile, thank you very much for joining and I do hope to see you all again.